Okay, so we know this character is a bit of a problem, especially recently. But um, I feel Asuka is actually pretty strong against him. So um, uh, in this matchup, in this video, I'm going to go over like options and tracking and option slats and stuff like that. I'm not going to talk about like block punishments because you can look that you can look that st stuff up anywhere. I'm going to go in what what this video is going to be in like in more detail on this matchup. So we'll start with um over let's see um let's go over his tracking real quick. So he has jab down foot one, jab down three. When we move jab forward four, uh, jab uh, jab forward one plus two the mid. And jab and then sweep. Okay, there would be common enough options at neutral that you could do. So um, let's start with one. Okay, so jab down for one. You can size. You can uh, size up left. You can size up left against it. Oh, and then jab, then three. You can size up left into. Uh, you can size up left into duck. It whips, but I'll show you why you should do side step left up in a second. The jab, the homing is too slow at the uh, plus one to track. You can still side step left up this as well. The jab into four one plus two. You can also side step left up ish. This is why you, you want to duck in the first place. So jab into sweep. You can uh, side step and I can block it and then launch of course. So I think going left against Akuma is pretty strong in general. Especially when you commit to something like offer three on block with Asuka. So you're like minus three in his face and then he starts, he does something, maybe he does downward one check or um, sweep or holy move or whatever. You can always um, like step left into into duck to avoid his options, even at like slight minus frames. So just keep keep an eye on this because that's his tracking's not great. Obviously he has options to deal with this. He can delay his attacks. To track with you, for example, I'll show you. You can delay his attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, it's it's a it's a mix up. It's a movement mix up. But if he's just doing them in a flow chart like automatic way, then that's how you avoid them. Slice left into duck. And this is also true for the case of. Um, oops. Uh, this is also the case for them three into Hadoken. That wasn't clean, that wasn't good. So he's, he's a level plus here. But you can still apply your options here. Still apply your options. And also, um. Oh, stuck in zero. Them three Hadoken. You can still, you can still do it against this. But not unblock, obviously, it has to be unblock. And slice up left into duck or low parry against that too. So um that's his general kind of tracking. Obviously, he has some moves, slower moves to hit you out of this, or he has he can delay his timing to hit you. But that's the general idea. So another thing I'm gonna talk about is his while well, standing two into the demon flip. And this is a very common situation because this is Akuma's main mix-up option uh, when he's in your up close. So he's gonna sweep down through you as a low option. Or he's going to um what's signing to into demon flip for a combo against you. Now we have we have options against this. Now no punish is hundred percent guaranteed. I'm gonna say that now. Okay, no no punish is hundred percent guaranteed. But we do have stuff that covers most options. So the first is um what where's the record? So the first is Ford Four. This will, this will beat any demon flip option, three and four. So the light demon flip and the hard demon flip, it will cover every option. If he goes in the air, he's gonna get hit, essentially. And that's, there's probably a more optimized combo than that. I don't know. I haven't really studied it too much, but for now we have this. It beats every demon flip option. Now, obviously, if he does while standing two on its own, it won't punish. Obviously, it won't punish because it's too slow. But um. If he's in the air, if he goes in the air at all, with forward four, um, it will float him. Now, down back one two was another option. It's a new option in the season. Um, it's kind of inconsistent. It can work on a lot of stuff. 
but it is kind of consistent because if he delays his, uh, if he delays certain buttons, go about him. If he delays certain stuff, it's not even a punish. See, he, he he'd be able to block out there. I don't have him programs to block there, but it wasn't a punish. So and back one two is not a guaranteed punish. But it is nice though because it does cover some demon flip options. And if he does while standing to it on its own, it actually punishes it. It actually punishes it anyway. So it's it's an okay option. But I I would prefer four four. I would prefer four four anyway. Uh, the standing three is also a nice option. It beats everything. Let's see. It beats everything from Demon Flip three, the light version of the Demon Flip. So it beats everything from it for a flow combo. Now this is the only. This is only the Demon Flip three. Every option from Demon Flip three. But if you do four. You do demon flip four. I'm so mad, guys. She, your crew will actually end up behind her. She, she's safe, but you don't get any punish. So, and uh, another thing is, um, like them back one two. If he does want standing two on its own, you can get um, you can hit confirm the three one for a punish on what standing two on its own. Another option. Uh, this one I don't like so much, but it is an option. And it's very rewarding if you get the right read. Um, my execution is so shit. Okay. It is rewarding if you get the right read. So, dash under, and then back to 1 4 in the back. Now, this is difficult if he does, like, for example, palm. Because you have to. It, it's really awkward, or if, if, if possible at all. Because like your your inputs change as he crosses up, so it's kind of awkward. And this only works on the demon flip four stuff because he goes he goes behind you when he does the demon flip four stuff. If you try to dash in, right, if you try to dash in under while he does the three, you're just gonna get hit. You won't go under. You won't go under if you try to do the three. I had the four there, I did the four there. It works on the die kick from three anyway. Am I doing three? Actually, yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember what stops it. It was this, I think. Mm. Okay, you know, I'm just talking shit. I think you can just dash in under anyway. This this was this wasn't work when I tested earlier. I guess we're all learning now. We're all learning this now. Okay, well, it's still a tight punish anyway. It's still very hard punish. So I, I was I, so far I still prefer forward four as a punish. Forward four as a punish to cover everything is easy, and it works on everything. The part, if he goes in the air, demon flips, if he goes in the air, of course. Um, okay, so that's that, that's the options. Uh, you can actually do... Um, you can actually do um, while standing to into fireball. I remember the input. You can actually do um, while standing to into fireball. Now, this will interrupt your um, demon flip. Let's do the hard version, I think. This will interrupt um, if you try to uh, go for a 4-4, four, four. but you can slice that right against it and then go for a punish. So really, the mix up here is you forward for his demon flip or you slice that right the fireball. Or you punish while standing to it on its own. But in, personally, from my experience against the crewmates, they always go into the air. They always do demon flip because they want the combo, so they always do the demon flip option. So 4-4 four, four will stop that. So that's it for while standing to it. That's a very big part of... Akuma's gameplay, so keep an eye on that. So, Den 3 into Demon Flip is another thing they like to do sometimes. The thing with Den 3 into Demon Flip is if he hits you with the Den 3, the Demon Flip is uninterruptible. You cannot interrupt this. However, we have an option. We can 4 to cancel under and just escape. We won't get a punish, but we'll escape the mix up. This is off Den 3. But if he does Den 3 up close, we can actually do 4 4. Because 
she moves back a little bit and it makes the palm whiff. But this is only up close. On further edge, you need to forward to cancel under. This is also the case for um, the two. I think it was Demon Fit 3. Because I remember making this whiff earlier. See, this is what I mean. It's, this character is so awkward to love. Like, there's different timings that can screw up different things. Okay, I think the best thing to just do is just 4 2 cancel under always. The best thing is just 4 2 cancel under always. Just just get out of the mix up. Just get out of that situation. Alright, the next thing is um down port one one. Okay. Well this is standard chi stuff. I'm not gonna go into too much on his strings and stuff like that, because you can look that at yourself. But down port one one. Down port one one, you can duck. While standing 2 1 or while standing 1 4, if you're quick, you have to be quick though, because it recovers quicker than you think. And if you, he also has 10 foot 1 2, which is a mid mid. So while standing 2 1 will work. But um, we have. Now he can chicken. We can reversal both, op oh, both options off the 10 foot 1. You can chicken it, but at least it makes him think a little bit. You can chicken or bait it, but it is an option. It is an option we have. So. You can use that sometimes. It is an option. You can chicken it, but we do have it. Uh, another important thing against Akuma is... Um, hold on, my patch is desynced. These work. Um, another thing we have against Akuma is... Um, oh yes, um, here's 1-1. One, one. You have to duck this because they will they'll try they'll try and hit confirm it. So you ha you have to duck this the second it. It's it's really has really good recovery and whiff. So personally in game I was just stick to what's signing for. Because anything quicker is like it's hard in my opinion. Unless you're like super super ready. But in my opinion, just stick to what's signing for. Especially with Oscar two one while signing two one being a high, they can duck it if you're a bit slow and then you could die for it. So in my opinion, stick to what's signing for. What else do we have? Okay, down one two. If he if he does this on its own, we can punish with um, a twelve frame mid, thirteen frame mid as well. So th thirteen frame mid, we can punish this. However, he can cancel this. He can cancel into fireball to interrupt your punish. You need to watch out for that. If I can do it, you can. Uh, you try to interrupt. You can uh, in interrupt your punish. You need to watch out for that. And you can also go into Demon Flip. But Demon one will float it. I actually didn't lap this. I actually did, I forgot to lap this, but anyway. Is it, yeah, okay. Well, maybe th standing 3 will work. Maybe 4 4. Well, 4 4 should work, actually. But we want to do 12 frame mid because um, it punishes 1 2 on its own. Maybe Demfort 1. I think it's you're safe to do Demfort 1 unless he does Fireball afterwards. Yeah. I think Demfort 1 most of the time... If, if, if it doesn't hit him out the air, okay. But it punish him doing down 1 2 at least. Yeah. And against Akuma in channel, it's really important to not overextend your pressure. Because that down 1 2 is a 10 frame that can... Uh, I think it's 10 frame, yeah. That can be hit confirmed into Fireball combo. So you need to not overextend against Akuma. Just play really patient. Like just if you have anything that frame traps, so like for example, Demfort want to hit into Demfort one, do it. But don't overextend at minus frames because he can kill you off a of Demfort one to hit confirm. So just be really careful. Just play patiently. Another really good thing that Asuka has in this matchup, which is one reasons why I think she does really well in this matchup. So let's get away from the wall, let's record, let's make him jump at range. Her power crush is actually a really strong anti-air. Her power crush is a very strong anti-air against Akuma at range. Even better with the wall bends mechanic now because um, if, he, if he does demon flip at range and we can punish him on recovery on landing. So let's see, um, for example, this into palm. 
See, it'll, it'll punish him on landing. And if he's near a wall, we go full wall bends. So it's, it's quite good. Um, here, maybe. Okay, but you get the idea, anyway. You c we can punish him on recovery of his landing moves with um, wall bends. Especially good against near walls. So, Power Crush is extremely good against Kahuma at range, jumping at you, or demon, demon flips at so we, you want to keep, personally, the way to play Akuma is you want to stay at like at this range and then just keep play keep edge, like quick quick play, quick keep edge against Akuma and just stay at this range. And if he tries to jump at you, just power crush him away from you and just play safe. Don't overextend, don't, um, don't uh, play too comfortable up close because he can kill you off this with hit confirms and down three mash under your stuff and stuff like that. Range two, just play safe with Asuka pokes. Offer 3 is nice because um, it can catch him by a demon flip. If you do it like preemptively, you can catch him by jumps. So, Offer 3 is nice too. What else can I see? He has no command grabs, so always do your generic breaks. He has no 1 plus 2 gra grab, so always do your gener generic breaks. Uh, yeah, range 2, play it safe, don't overextend, anti air jump ins with power crush. And while standing to demon flip stuff, I showed you earlier. Sicep left into duck against him up close because that avoids a lot of his stuff. Uh, and then duck stuff like Danford 1 1. Duck uh, stuff like Danford 1. Sorry. Duck stuff like Danford 1 1. Duck this. Make sure you punish Danford 1 2. Uh, make sure you duck 4 3. Make sure you duck um, 1 1. Make sure you duck. Um... Oh, yeah. Both Tatsus. As of season 3. Both of the Tatsus are now minus 15. The longer one used to be minus 14, but now it's minus 15. Not a lot of people know this, but it, they're both minus 15. This one can be difficult to punish because it's very short block stun. But um, just try your best. So against his focus attack, what I like to do is... Um, right. So for example, if he just does random focus attack in neutral, what I like to do is... Um, if I see it coming, do 1-4. Because when he backdashes out of focus attack, he can't block low. So the 1-4 is guaranteed. And if he, if he holds onto the focus, so if he just holds it, you can do um, something like like the whole can can string, or you can do stuff like this. Uh, you can even just rock. If he sends it coming, you can do rock can cans for uh, like a full punish. This, this will work on, because he's in a, he's in a counter hit stage when he's doing focus. So you can do stuff like this. Or you can even uh, go under with Snake Age. Because remember, if he can't block low. And uh, it, the Snake Age will crush under the high follow-up. So um, so that's a good option against Akuma. But 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 mainly I would like to do 1-4. Just in case he dashes forward and blocks the Snake Age, for example. So 1-4 is a nice option. So that's a really strong option against his folks attack. Um, against the wall against Akuma... There is a thing, there's a wall combo he can do. So it's the standard wall combo. Da, 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 da. And then immediate entry afterwards. Now, if you tech roll the wrong way, if you tech roll this way, you can low parry the den three. You should be able to low parry it. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, but if you tech roll in the other direction, you can't low parry. You can't low parry if you tech roll in the other directions. So make sure you tech roll to your right. So you can low parry this. Make sure you tech roll to your right. So you can reduce his options at least. Go the other direction again. I messed that up that timing. I messed up again. But you saw me low parry it earlier anyway, so it is, it is there. Uh, 
Well, obviously he can delay his time into throw off your low parry. But this is this is if he does immediate uh, low parry. Yeah, this that's if he does an immediate low parry. I mean immediate down three. Sorry, immediate down three. Sorry. So yeah, that's it. I think I said pretty much everything I could say in this video. Play patience. Don't overextend. Power crushes, jump in some range. Uh, look over the while standing two stuff like post it on block. Sidestep left, uh, low parry against him is strong. And yeah, that's it. And that's it for Akuma. I hope it helps.